Hey again, it is Tuesday <clears throat> and I'm getting ready to head out to run errands with my friend Allison. We ran errands last week and I didn't bring you along for that necessarily, but um, I'm going to do that today. I'm going to bring you along with us as we run a couple of errands that involve jewelry and such and whatnot, uh, which reminds me I need to grab thing I'm looking for. So this is my mom's gold necklace and it came with a, a matching bracelet that's broken. So Allison is getting her ring resized, her wedding ring, and I'm going to try to see how much it costs to repair the, the bracelet. And then we are going to pick up the dry cleaning and the alterations and uh, get, I don't know, just be out and about. So that is what we're up to today, and I just got out of the shower. Bobby is here um, hanging out by himself, and I will bring you along for the first couple of errands. Oh yes, and I'm going to be picking up my roll of film from Thompson Photo. It will just be a roll of film just to see if that Minolta camera that I got works. and. If, it, if the film looks good, then I'll get prints and scans, and I'll show you guys. Okay, I need to skedaddle so I can meet Allison. Oh my gosh. Okay, running errands with Allison. We just found these halogen boots in her size. So cute, super beautiful. And then I found these Jill Sander boots, which I'm not sure that I really need or will work, but they retailed for 5.30 back in the day. These are, I can tell they're a little bit old, but very cute. I'm going to try them on. We're finding all the cute shoes for Allison. Yes, mm -hmm. I want to get the shoe thing. You kind of don't have as much luck with those. They're so cute. They're so beautiful though. These are too big. These are look like they're too big on the... Really? Maybe a little bit. Yeah. I think you should walk around it. Actually, when you put your foot down, I'm they're like... Put down. Oh yeah, they are kind of right. Right there. Ask me that again. Um, Bye stuff. Bye stuff. I said, how are you feeling about erranding? Is it overwhelming or do you feel good? I feel like together we can good. tackle the erranding. Yes, we can. Okay, so next we're going to go to, I'm assuming, Jared's? Yes. Was there something else we had to do? Was there? I don't remember. The bracelet and your ring. Did you bring your bracelet? I brought it. Good. I found it somehow. Awesome. And let's go there. Let's go there. I am amazed at the battery power of this phone, which is consistently at 1% and yet it's carries on. It still goes. It lives on. Literally one time I left my 1% phone at home and took both for like a 45 minute walk and came back and my bedtime alarm was going off like by oh, itself just, like, like still going still going I was like how is this even and possible like 30 I thought it'll die and I'll come back and recharge What's it your what time is your bedtime alarm well it goes off at 8 30 but I don't go to bed at that time okay. sometimes it's like 11 30 okay which is really bad so bad at Jared's we're going to see how much the bracelet repair cost I don't know if it will be worth it because I just picked up the dry cleaning and it was so expensive. Well, I mean, it was 80 bucks, which is a lot, so. So I'm at the gym and this is my first time doing anything like this and I'm super nervous. I am super, super scared. I don't know why I should be scared, but I am a little bit nervous because I'm not the uh, working out type. You know, I walk, I do a little bit of hit here and there, but yeah, wish me luck. I will keep you posted about my journey. My success. Okay, I just got done and that was so not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but this is kind of where I'm starting. It's not horrible, but guys, I just kind of 
not, I haven't figured out my diet yet. Here's the deal with where I'm at right now. I'm not totally unhappy and I think being really grateful and kind to your body is a good thing because I haven't been kind to my body uh, in the past, or it's just to myself. But because I had to go gluten free and soy free and dairy free, because of my eczema, I feel like my body has just gone into a kind of a, a weird up and down thing. So I felt like just not knowing what to do and thought I need to learn how to take care of my body. Plus as you get older, doing resistance training for women is so good for you. I'm gonna go walk a little bit then go home and take Bobby for a walk. So anyhow, oh, wish me luck on this journey. I just, I just, yeah, I don't know what else to say. So awkward. Mike and I went back to that carm and I got the skirt. I got the black skirt from last week's vlog. And thankfully, <laughs> thankfully it's in a, the thrift store is in a really kind of rural area so it doesn't get picked over very quickly and it was still there and now it's been a really rainy overcast day but today is our anniversary and it has been an interesting day um lest you think life is perfect on this side of the screen don't be fooled and don't be fooled yeah. <laughs> um well, we are having a good day together. A real day. Right, Pooh? Yeah. And then Mike made reservations at this really lovely restaurant here in Knoxville called J.C. Holdway. And I'm really excited to go because I've never been. And they have a James Beard Award. And apparently the food is incredible. I've seen lots of my friends eat there. I've never been there because we don't eat out a ton at restaurants per se so we do a lot of like Whole Foods and Whole Foods Market hot bar and breakfast and breakfast so we're just on our way um, Mike got a pull-up bar and I got some shoes for my mom which I'll show you I wish they were my size here's the skirt and these shoes are so cute. They're brand new from Lucky Brand. Oh my gosh. Absolutely adorable, but they're a little bit too big for me. So I texted my mom to see if she wanted them, and she did. So they were $8.99. The skirt was $7.99, 100% silk. It's beautiful. I'm going to have it slightly taken in. So I'm, I'm happy about that. And I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Oh, you filming? <laughs> Don't be so sad. Okay, here we go. We're going in. They're all looking at us. Okay, they can look if they want to. <laughs> working on editing the vlog right now that you are actually watching and I wanted to make sure that I tied up the loose ends. I actually vlogged more content than I'm going to be putting in this week's vlog so be sure to check next week because I um, bring you along to my favorite spa and wellness center here in Knoxville 
called Wild Lavender and she carries the most beautiful products and her space is so lovely. The other thing is, it is about to storm really badly here in Knoxville and I wanted to show you guys my Everlane order before I send it back. So from the previous vlog, uh, a previous vlog and the one from last week, I got my Everlane order and I wanted to show you what I picked out what I tried on, why it works and doesn't work, and what I'm gonna do next because all of this is related to the Paris wardrobe. Getting the dry cleaning, getting the things tailored and altered, and I'll show you those things as well. Plus the working out, truth be told, you know, is a part of that too, but it's not the only reason. Um, because I'm not going to totally transform myself in 50 something days before going to Paris but I am starting a new habit, which is really good. And um, I'm gonna do my makeup, finish the vlog, and then, you know, hopefully my hair will dry. And I'm gonna try to attempt all of this before Mike gets home from work, because he's getting home early today, which is cool, super cool. Normally it's a 24 hour shift for firefighters. Yes, so trying on the Everlane stuff, trying on the things that I altered and got back from the dry cleaner, and slowly but surely building out my Paris dream wardrobe. So here's the outfit. This is my uh, Vintage Banana Republic Squirt which I just wear on repeat pretty much with everything and now my new favorite piece which is the Silk Everlane blouse, the notch blouse and I believe this is in a size 4 it's probably the best purchase I've made in a long long time in terms of like a retail purchase um, I haven't buttoned the sleeves that's why they're open like that and I typically wear it with my Engemi flats or my and other stories suede like yellow pump thingies so it's pretty cute I really like this I'm definitely keeping it considering returning the other stuff and getting a different color another color here is the t-shirt this is the box cut t-shirt and clearly it is very see-through I need to get like a t-shirt bra still working on that and it is very boxy. Doesn't really do much for me. I don't think I don't feel very cute in it. Now you can tuck it in. I don't know. I mean, I guess I'm just used to wearing my husband's shirts. And the biggest difference between this t-shirt, the box cut, and the cotton crew is the sleeves. I wish this had the length of the Cotton Crew, right? The length, but this, you know, the sleeves of this box cut. So I don't love it. That's why I'm not 100% all about it right now. Um, but it's basic. Now let me show you the blazer over this so you can get an idea of how that those two things work together and you know the contrast between white and midnight not black not navy oh how i wanted to love this oh how i wanted to love this it is probably the most odd tailoring i have ever tried on in a blazer because i'm a blazer addict you guys i buy blazers from the thrift store all the time and it's just got this strange swing. It is not flattering in my opinion. Like if you have a big bust, or even even if you don't consider it very big, but you're not flat chested, um, the cut on this is very unflattering. I, in my opinion. I think you would have to be very thin to pull this off. Like, a, you know what I'm saying? Like a stick nearly because when you button it it's like it's just kind of tight around the hips um, but loose through the waist and the armpits so for contrast I'm gonna try on my thrifted oh it's also very snug through the armpits and sleeve 
so perhaps I should have ordered a different size, maybe a larger size, but it just wasn't even available. But I'm going to show you the thrifted version of this that I will be taking with me to Paris instead of this thing. By contrast, perfect tailoring. Perfect tailoring. It fits through the waist. It has a pleat in the back. Um, it is three but four buttons rather than two. Now, granted, this is a more fitted style, um, but I love this blazer. And it is virtually the same color as the Everlane one. So what I'm thinking is, Everlane says midnight. They really mean navy. Dark, dark navy. This is dark, dark navy as well. I mean, this is a little bit more blue than the Everlane one, but let me see. Can you tell a difference? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> okay. So, definitely the vintage Ralph Lauren, or actually, I think this is... My obsession with Vintage Banana Republic continues. Here's the deal. Here is the deal. These could not be cuter. They could not be more adorable. And I know that they make the next half size up. But I am not sure that even the next half size up will remedy what might be wrong with these shoes. So I will, I'm putting them on right now. Let me show you. Okay, so I'm slipping these guys on. I wear a six and a half, seven. And they fit, but they are like right on the end there. So my toe is here and it's a, I guess a pointy toe. So my toes are always going to be kind of squished, but my biggest concern is that heel grabbing strap. How much fun would that be walking around Paris? I don't think very much fun. Those are just my house shoes. So I don't know. I mean, I'm very particular about how shoes fit. Here is the Everlane t-shirt, the crew cut. Now, it is longer, it comes down to like right here. And I like it, it's very comfortable, so is the other t-shirt. But I'm not where I wanna be with my, my arms right now, and this just feels a little too tight. Um, not tight, but just form-fitting. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is not have something in my closet right now that I don't feel like I can wear, if that makes sense. So I'm going to probably return this as well, because I have a, a Banana Republic gray t-shirt that you've seen me wear. That I like the, the cut is perfect in my opinion. It's, it's the perfect blend between the Everlane box cut crew and then this just crew neck. So it's pretty and if I was maybe where I wanted to be, I would wear it, but it's just personal preference. I don't feel, I don't feel very comfortable in it. Now you might think I'm crazy, but it is a very comfortable tee, so consider it. I think you would like it actually. Here's one of the items that I got back from the dry cleaner. It is the most lovely linen, 100% linen blazer from Talbot's Petite. And it's Irish linen. Can't tell you when exactly this was made, but it's a single button. And they just did an incredible job. There was a big stain on it somewhere. I actually think it might have been there ish. I don't know. And they got it out. This is the other blazer. I mean, you might be saying this is super similar, but you've seen this Donna Karen blazer before. In one of my vlogs it is vintage and I had it tailored taken in so that it wouldn't be so super duper oversized and it's really cute on and I will show you it in a second here is the Talbot's Irish linen blazer 
on. It is really lovely. And truth be told, um, it's, it's a petite, so it's not really meant for someone my height, but I love it. And it is so well tailored and dry cleaned. I just can't get over it. And it looks pretty cute with this black on black outfit, I must admit to you. So, um, loving that. Now I will show you the, oh yeah, you can kind of see. Kind of has a nice cut to it. It cleaned up nice, I tell you that. It just surprised me actually how beautifully that came out from the dry cleaner. Now I will show you the Donna Karen blazer. Here is the DKNY blazer. It is 100% wool and when I got it uh, to the tailor, it was, if you can believe it, even more oversized than this. So I'm gonna just button this button here so you can see. It is definitely oversized. It's long and it's big through the waist and whatnot and the arms, but Here's the cool thing. You could belt this, the really lovely black belt, which I have, and you can also wear sweaters under it. So I think it's, despite the fact that it's ginormous, it's really, really chic, in my opinion. So the tailoring came out really great, and I will be taking this to Paris with me. How many second thoughts about the t-shirt? I don't know, I'll keep you posted. Alrighty guys, that is it for this week. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and running errands and going on my anniversary dinner, which was fantastic by the way. I didn't get a chance to like video all the food, but they made this special gluten-free, dairy-free dessert for us at the end. So it was very considerate and thoughtful and lovely. And it's just been a great week and tomorrow I am going to Franklin Tennessee for my mastermind group and that's gonna be fun because I missed today for doggy reasons but I'm pumped to go tomorrow and stay tuned next week because the Franklin trip will be included in that as well as some cool beauty care uh, makeup products I got from Wild Lavender and some more fun Paris outfit planning and cool things that I have yet to <laughs> decide what, what will be happening. Third, third awkward person mention of the day. I am so unbelievably awkward. Forgive me. Okay, I will see you guys next week. Bye.